Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Saturday Legends. We got the two new Legends, base, LTDs, and guys, today we do get our free Legends. If you guys have been grinding your solos for all those weeks, I know I stopped personally because I just didn't per I just didn't see. Oh, well, from the beginning, I never saw I never saw this as a profitable idea or like a, a time profitably, profitable idea. If, like, if you're just playing Madden for fun, you want to kill some time, that's fine. But with the schedule I have, you know, doing the videos, doing everything, and school, I just never really wanted to waste more time doing those solos, knowing that I could pull a guy that's like 80k. Now, for many people, it's worth it. I didn't see that for myself personally as worth it, but hopefully if you guys stuck to the grind and held it through to these days, you are getting your free legend. If you know what I'm talking about. Now, I feel like there's someone out there, right, that has every single token and doesn't even know about this set, right? They just play it every week just to get some extra coins, to get the power-ups, and they have no idea they've been, they've been grinding out these tokens, but right here, so... First off, the new legends are Chris Cooley and Mo Lewis. A lot of you guys probably know neither guy, but Chris Cooley is really good. I'll get into that in a second. Now, exchange. Here we go. It's going to be the uh, turn in 18 legend tokens to earn a random legends boss. This will be updated each week when new legends are out. This legends token exchange is finally live. You can finally get your legend, your random boss legend now. This could be any legend in the game, guys. So let's go over real quick what the options are for who you can potentially pull before I check out the new legends. If you guys kept it up for all 18 weeks or however long it's been, pretty sure about 18 weeks. Oh, uh, well, not 18 weeks because the first few weeks you had some extra ones. But if you guys have kept it up, honestly, good for you guys. Good for you guys. You have the you have the willpower of, of God. I don't know. That, that's a lot. It's a lot of weeks to keep up with full game Legend Solos and not miss a single one technically if you're able to get it today. So let's go to uh, Quality. I wish you could sort by full Legend, but you can't. Let's go to 88 to 89. So te technically, you can pull a Legend from here. So... Let's see, what's the worst pull you could potentially get from here? Uh, I know there's full legends here, right? Okay, so it's not going to show. That's, that's going to be the issue with this right now is that it's not going to show me a full legend. But I know there's a chance. Like, let's say, okay, let's go to who's one of the first legends this year. Let's go to, like, a cornerback real quick. Okay, Rob Woodson. Rob Woodson is 27K. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can pull Rob Woodson. Now, unless Boss Legends is the LTD, which let's just make sure before I say anything. Boss edition. You just, okay, no, this is the card. So I don't, I don't think you could pull LTD. That, that's what we thought from the beginning. These are the boss cards. The other ones are the LTD cards. So I don't think you, I think you can pull these. So like guys, you could literally pull a 27k Rob Woodson for damn near 16 to whatever weeks of grinding. Like that's horrible. You could potentially pull Rob Woodson. You could potentially pull like, oh, let's see. Oh, that's the new Chris Cooley by the way. That's that's one of his low cards. But point is, guys. Point point is, you can pull anywhere between 300k. And I'd say anywhere up to about, I mean, technically over here somewhere, right? Oh, these are LTDs. So, wait, hold up. Oh, let, me go, let me take it down a notch. Let's take it down back one more real quick before we get into our intro and everything. You can potentially get a guy like uh, Steve Smith, Edron James. So, okay, wow, that sucks. So, lowest, lowest situation is going to be you probably pull about 27K. Highest, highest, best case scenario, you're probably pulling around max two three hundred k but like you're you're stretching like you got to be real lucky to pull that so good luck to all you guys i don't want to be a pessimist i don't want to be pessimistic but definitely good luck on that one uh moving on guys for today's poodle squad shout out we do have to shout out one of the guys today we got robin vc shout out to me for being a part of the poodle squad thank you so much for showing support each and every day thank you so much appreciate it and also guys if you haven't already comment down below poodle squad like the video turn on the noti bell to be shouted out in the next video and head over to my reserve guys you want new, this new legend this new tight end uh chris cooley insane if you guys want to pick him up head over to my reserve pick up some coins you're gonna need him to pick up him tyree kill and all the new meta cards that we're gonna be having so it's gonna be guys the market's so cheap there's been a massive market crash i highly recommend you go pick up coins use code poodle 15 percent off take advantage of the discounts with okay a market crash with blitz coin discount you can be able to build a god squad for half the price of what you usually have to pay i highly recommend you go check it out and you go take advantage of that because there's just so much potential right now with all the like, this market's so cheap like it's, it's ridiculous especially on some lower end cards now, Chris Cooley is live, 94 overall tight end. Now, he looked kind of like Jay Cutler to me, but neither here nor there. Let's see what he's looking like. Okay, so he's 6'3". He, he looks like Evan Ingram, right, in terms of speed and, and body size. So he's 6'3", 89 speed, 80 strength, 91 catching, 93 catching traffic, 94 spec, 92 short, 91 medium, and 78 run block. Now, here's the thing. I could be wrong. There may be an 80 to 90 overall threshold for run blocking. So if you think he's good enough, right, and you don't care about any other stats, I would recommend you put zone run on Chris Conley and get his run block to an 80. That will complete him as a all-purpose, speedy, catching, 
run blocking tight end. Chris Cooley would be literally a god that way. Now, again, if you don't care for run blocking or you don't, or there's no threshold, whatever, do your research. Then you want to go ahead and you want to probably put, I'd say, play fake on him, right? You get play fake, you increase his catching a little bit, you get his medium route running up to like a 94, 95. Card could be, this card's great. Now, I wish he could be powered up. Of course, this is the LTD, so he's already powered up, but 89 speed, he's going to be the fastest, best catching, best run blocking, best route running, all purpose tight end in the game. Now, let's see the behind the card stats, because of course, the front of the card's looking nice. He's got 88 carrying. That's super great for hit sticking. Good pass blocking as well. I mean, again, if you ever put your... I put my tight ends in pass block all the time. If they like doing a little flat route, I don't want it. I do it all the time. Maybe not my main tight end. Usually my backside tight end are the one I don't need. But either way, 91 trucking, 86 stiff arm, 89 ball carry vision, 86 change of direction, 83 spin, 83 juke. So he's not going to be juking or spinning, but he's a really good 79 impact block. He's a really good run blocker in terms of compared to other tight ends right now that can also, you know, that also can be used as a catcher. But what's really going to matter is that 91 truck, he's going to be kind of like a little baby Gronk. He's a baby Gronk with some speed. And then, let's see what he's got. He's got 77 lead block. 92 break tackle is really good. That's it for the Chris Cooley card. But this Chris Cooley card is literally insane. I really like him. Got to be the best end in the game. 94 overall too now. His price is going to be kind of crazy. He's going to be expensive for quite quite a minute here because he's going to be the best tight end in the game. And we all know that tight ends are kind of game-breaking when they're super, super solid, like Darren Waller, uh, Mercedes Lewis. They kept a high price slot for a really long time. Uh, a decently amount of long, a decent amount of long time, but or a decently long amount of time. There we go. 800K right now. Then we got Mo Lewis, left us linebacker for the New York Jets. Now, he's a Jets player, so he's probably going to suck, but we're going to check him out. Six foot three. Let's see. So he's got 88 speed. He's got 88 Excel, 84 Strength, 93 Tackle, 90 Play Rec, 92 Block Shed, 93 Power Move. I take it back. I'm so sorry. You were crazy good. He's crazy good, actually. So, guys, chemmed up. He can get up to a 98 Power Move, and he has an 88 Speed. So, he's going to be... Okay, he, we're getting so many. Like, in years past, it was rare. We had one of these guys. Like, a Julius Peppers, Bill Lawrence. We have Lawrence Taylor, Ricky uh, Ricky Jackson. We got Derek Thomas. We got... I don't even know. I've lost track. We've, lost, we've gotten so many of these... 88 speed, 88 excel, max blocks and max power move guys. He's one of the best edge rushers and run stuffers in the game now. He is super great. He has 94 impact block, which I never know how that affects defense, but definitely is usually there. 94 impact, 81 zone. She's the best linebacker in the game. You know those guys who like that meta man where like you put your outside linebackers or your ends in like a, in like a, in a purple? That. That, that's the guy. You want to get him on the edge, rushing him, and as soon as you think they're going to come out and pass, you purple zone him, and there you go. You suddenly have a guy that can play zone. That is crazy. He's 88 speed with 81 zone, and he has happens to be the best pass rusher slash run stuffing duo in the game. Mo Lewis is a god. Mo Lewis is crazy good. Best head end and outside linebacker probably mixed right now. Now, will he play crazy? I don't know, but the stats do set up for it. It's unbelievable. 81 zone. With a 94 hit power, he's going to be able to lay the boom like a safety, has the speed, can play zone, good play rec, can stop the run. And he's, he's like that guy in high school football you just know can do Like that guy you had in your team that could just do everything on the field. Like no matter what, like safety, running back, quarterback, doesn't matter. He just can do it. Like that's that's Mo Lewis on defense. Just line him up somewhere. He's going to make a play. Wow, that is crazy. Mo Lewis is great. Guys, I pretty much wrapped up today's video. But definitely go snag yourself a Mo Lewis and a Chris Cooley. Wow, this was a great Legends drop. Chris Cooley's already 600K. That's nice. If he gets that, I'd say he's worth it around three, four hundred k. That's probably where he's gonna sell, uh, considering the price. Probably in the three hundred k range. That's probably when I'm snagging him up. Bro, that Co that Chris Cooley is, is amazing, and that Mo Lewis is probably even better. But that's it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys later. Pick up coins at myreserve.com. Use code Pudo fifteen percent off of the already having remaining Blitz offers that you're gonna get, and the discounts on to take advantage. And of course, heading over and join the Pudo squad. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.